What's up guys? So, Saturday morning, uh, having really bad luck finding yard sales and the ones that I come across are really crappy. Uh, maybe just one yard sale with a whole bunch of sports titles uh, for the PS3. Nothing interesting so far, it's been pretty dry. Uh, the morning started out really uh, cloudy. Um, it was actually uh, raining a little bit when I woke up, so I didn't think I, it was going to be a good day to go game hunting. Uh, but it did clear up. It's The sun did come out, so it's looking a lot better right now. Uh, but still, I don't have any, any um, what is that called? I haven't scored anything yet. Uh, I did bring all my... Oh, shit. I think I just... Damn it, I think I just... I just missed this one yard, so... Uh, so anyways, um... Yeah, I, I did bring my stuff... Uh... To set up... At the flea market... I don't know if you guys saw my dumpster diving video last Wednesday... But, uh, somebody from Craigslist actually uh, hit me up and we made a deal on some um, Super Nintendo games so um, at least I have something this weekend to show you guys if uh, you know I don't get anything else um, he said he had about probably like 10 games not nah, like 7 games and uh Four Nintendo 64 games, uh, a Super Nintendo console, uh, a whole bunch of controllers. So I actually brought the Super Nintendo console with me and the controllers and a couple of games uh, to sell at the flea market. And something that's really crazy is that uh, last weekend, if you guys remember, I found that Mega Man X and um, last Tuesday when I made the deal with the guy he actually had another copy of Mega Man X so it's it's kind of funny how uh, you know and, and I know it always happens that all of a sudden you come across the same game like twice in one week what are the chances of that so anyways um, I'm I have this route that I take, like my own path, that I basically take the longest way possible to the flea market, uh, and I hit a lot of a lot of yard sales on the way there. So that's that's always what I do. I take the longest way. I, I basically make a big ass circle, and um, so far I'm probably halfway. I'm probably halfway through the circle right now, <laughs> and so far I have not scored a single game, so it's whatever though. Um, if anything, I'll just go to the flea market and uh, try to make some of that money back. I spent 50 bucks on that on that lot, on that Super Nintendo lot, and uh, what's funny about it is that it came with uh, Pokemon Stadium for the 64. And it came with um, Ocarina of Time, two games that I already have. Uh, so I'm going to be getting rid of those. And the cool thing is that it came with the transfer pack for the 64. Uh, so uh, that's always good. Oh shit. Yard sale. Saturday 9 to 5. Alright. But yeah guys, that's it for now. I'm, uh, I'm going to stop talking and... Um, if you guys don't see anything else from uh, yard sales, that means I didn't get anything. Uh, and most likely I'll start recording again once I'm at the flea market. And I think that's about it for now. Alright guys.
What's up guys? So, so far it's probably been uh, the best flea market day that I've had so far. I made uh, a little bit over 130 bucks. Um, I, already, I sold the Super Nintendo, I sold the uh, PlayStation 2, which is crazy, I never sell those here. Uh, well, I sold one before, but it's it's. I've been having that PlayStation 2 for a while now. Uh, so uh, I sold the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation 2. I saw the, the the Nintendo Wii that I had for parts. I sold it for 15 bucks. Um, I still have the Nintendo 64, but I have uh, I have some really good titles with uh, the Nintendo 64. I have Ocarina of Time and uh, Pokemon uh, Stadium, which are uh, those two games I actually got from uh, the deal uh, from Craigslist. Uh, I think it was Tuesday uh, so that was actually very sweet uh, I'm really happy right now couldn't be more happier it's really hot but it doesn't matter as long as I'm making money it's all good uh, there's somebody at the booth right now so I'll be What's right up, guys so I just sold uh, something for five bucks so uh, like I was saying uh, the the stuff that I bought during the week uh, you guys are not going to see that clip until after this, so uh, it, 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 it can be a little confusing, but um, you know, I'm just giving you a heads up that uh, the clip you're going to see later on is going to be from uh, when I first got the stuff. I knew I was going to end up selling something, so I wanted to make the clip as soon as I got it, and um, uh, basically I already sold all the doubles that I got from that, from that, uh, uh, from that deal. Uh, and I made basically uh, double my money. Uh, you know, I spent 50 on that on that Craigslist deal, and uh, I already have 130, so it's 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 going well. We're gonna probably be here for another hour, hour and a half, and then hopefully I can uh, get rid of more stuff. I've actually been selling. A couple of things that uh, I've been holding on for a couple of months so I'm pretty surprised that everything is selling that's it for now guys uh, I don't want to bore you guys with me talking uh, I'll What's see up, you in a everybody bit. so uh, I'm finally back home I didn't have a chance to record anymore because my phone died and it's actually about to die one more time so I gotta make this quick uh, I didn't really get that much stuff this weekend so uh, you know it should be pretty fast I made over a little bit under 200 bucks so that was a really good day I didn't think I was gonna make that much money uh, but I ended up selling the Nintendo Wii the the Nintendo DSi I mean the DS Lite uh, the Super Nintendo that I got and uh, I ended up selling a whole bunch of other different things so overall it was a really good day to sell uh, but you know, I didn't get that much stuff uh, for myself. Um, before I show you uh, all the stuff that I got, well, the couple of things that I got today, I want to show you really quick the clip from uh, earlier this week, so you guys can see what I got on Tuesday, and um, and that way you can see uh, the stuff that I got rid of, and I'm gonna show you the stuff that I kept. So. Uh, I'm gonna go and put in that oh, clip right now. Here is the little background story. I was, I was, uh, I was at the pool actually, and I get this uh, email on my phone, and this guy is actually um, cleaning out his storage or whatever, and he said he had a whole bunch of SNES, SNES games, uh, Super Nintendo console, and some Nintendo 64 uh, games he wanted to get rid of. Originally, he threw a hundred bucks for it. I made him come down to fifty. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Bam! All right, so I'm gonna actually do this right here on the floor. Um, I don't have a table that's big enough to fit all this, so I gotta sit here and do this. So the first thing we got is a dirty uh, Super Nintendo. And what's funny about this is that uh, my Super Nintendo is actually. Uh, let me show you real quick. Alright, so uh, here's my Super Nintendo, and this one appears to be in really great shape, but uh, for some reason the pins are dirty and I haven't cleaned them yet. Um, 
it's a pain in the ass to open these consoles because you need that special screwdriver. So I haven't cleaned them yet, but um, anyways, just kind of show you like a side comparison. Uh, this one is a bit dirty and it's actually kind of yellow from the bottom. So uh, we're going to see what happens if I can um, maybe get rid of it. Uh, I was thinking about probably getting rid of mine uh, since it looks nicer I could probably get like you know uh, a couple more dollars for it then instead of trying to sell this one and then when I get a better condition Super Nintendo I'll get rid of this yellow one and uh, you know get a uh, um, one that's in really good condition like this this one works flawlessly it might look a little dirty but you don't even need to blow on into the games uh, to get the console working so uh, that's pretty sweet anyways um, some of the games that I got for the Super Nintendo is um, Roadrunners, Death Valley, Rally yeah, focus there we go focus there we go uh, Batman Returns which is a ten dollar game. I didn't even think Batman games were that expensive. Um, Mickey Mickey Mouse Ultimate Challenge. Um, I played this a few times. It's actually, it's it's sort of fun. I uh, it's alright. Um, Street Fighter Two. I already own this game, so I'm definitely gonna end up uh, selling this game uh, with the console that I end up getting rid of. Um, what is this, F-Zero? I do not own this game, so I'll probably end up keeping that. Super Mario World, finally got this bad boy. In really good condition, because uh, the one that I've seen before was really crappy. Um, let's see. Uh, one more. And this is by far, I think, one of the best. Uh, Super Mario Kart. I can't wait to play this one. I love the 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 retro Mario Kart. Uh, it might not be as fun as the as the newer ones, but uh, you know it was the pioneer, the one who basically uh, laid the blueprint for the ones coming out. And probably the best game in the slot, uh, Mega Man X. Uh, it's really funny because I actually picked this game up. What it was like Sunday three days ago. I picked this game up. Uh, for ten bucks, no, for s eight bucks, I picked it up. Mega Man X, so uh, thirty dollar game in the slot. Awesome. Since I already have it, I'm probably gonna end up getting r rid of um, Mega Man X and Street Fighter Two. That should give me a nice, um, you know, uh, like I don't, I don't know how much I'm gonna ask for it, but I know that um, that I, I'm at least gonna get my money back when I'm done selling all this stuff that I have. Um, for the Nintendo 64 games, we have uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater with the blue cartridge, uh, California Speed, uh, Joshi Story, finally got Joshi Story, and two games that I already own, Pokemon Stadium and Ocarina of Time. Both, both these games I already own, so I'm going to get rid of... Um, I'm going to bundle these games with uh, that Nintendo 64 console and you know that should probably sell quick since it has a uh, couple of good games. Let's see, along with this I have, uh, what is this, the transfer pack which I'm probably going to end up getting rid of that too since I already have mine. Uh, memory card, uh, I'll probably end up keeping this, I don't know yet. And the uh, tremor pack which... I'm guessing it's just like a, uh, what is that called? Fuck. Oh my goodness. Um, to make your controller vibrate whenever you get hit or whatever. Uh, what is that called? Fuck. I forgot. Anyways, I am guessing it's that. Uh, it has the little motor back here, so I'm guessing it's only that. Um, cool little bonus. He didn't even tell me he had this. Um, this this is a Nintendo Super Nintendo cleaner kit. It looks like a it looks like a um, regular game, but what you do is you put the uh, actual cartridge in here, and you have to wait. I put it on the wrong way. You put the the cart in there, 
and you just eject, push it back in, eject, push it back in, and what that does is that it's supposed to clean your uh, SNES console. Uh, you open it up, and you see like the the things that clean it. It's like a it's like sandpaper basically, and I'm guessing this one is. Is this one for the games? I'm not sure. I have, first time I ever came across this, so I'm not really sure what this does. Let me know in the comments below what this little um, cleaning kit does. I know it cleans, obviously, uh, Super Nintendo consoles. But, um, I don't know what this little guy does over here. I'm going to put that to the side. And we're going to continue. He threw in... Uh, he actually told me in the in the... While we were talking on email, he only said that it came with one controller. Uh, so uh, he threw in one, two, and a third one. So that was a bonus. And then he threw in this Turbo Touch 360, which is a very interesting controller. Uh, I guess it's a touch. Is is a touch? I was wondering where the D-pad was, and I'm guessing, as the name says, it's a touch. So uh, you just slide your finger. And I think, I'm not sure, if you guys know, let me know. Um, I've never seen one of these, so uh, that's kind of cool to have. And then, um, this is another extra he added, uh, Game Boy Advance. He didn't even tell me he had this, but he just threw it in. And it comes with, appears to be a bootleg copy of Sonic Advance. Or it might, it might be just a Japanese copy, but I don't know if that's fake or not. I think, I want to say that's fake since it says original game on it <laughs> I wanna say that's fake um, but uh... a Game Boy Advance for free so that was kinda cool and then another extra he added he really hooked me up um, this fighter stick um, it's really heavy it's like made out of freaking metal and it feels really really nice so uh... I don't know if I'm probably not gonna get rid of this um, we'll see what happens but well, that's it guys, um, let me spread this out a little bit more. So that's it, um, uh, what is that, uh, 3, 6, 8 Super Nintendo games, 5 Nintendo 64 with the 2 that I put over there, uh, 4 Super Nintendo controllers, uh, 1 joystick, 1 little cleaning kit, one console that console was yeah it, it, the cables are over there um, the Game Boy Advance the tremor pack whatever and uh, the transfer pack all that for 50 bucks um, like I said I'm probably I'm, I'm definitely gonna get rid of uh, um, what is that uh, Super Nintendo I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna probably get rid of the one I own and keep the dirtier one I'll probably try to give it a nice clean and see if it um, if it gets a little better so I'm gonna sell that and try to get some of my money back uh, and if I if, if I sell that Nintendo 64 I'm definitely gonna get all my money back and then some so uh, I'm probably gonna get rid of that Game Boy 2 since I already have the that same color too and I'm gonna end up keeping these games basically for free uh, so that was it guys, let me know what you guys think, um, let me know in the comments below, also let me know uh, what this thing does, if it's any good, and let me know your, if you know much about uh, this um, uh, joystick, or fighter stick, or whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, that's it for now, I'll see you guys in the next Alright guys, so uh, you saw the little, uh, uh, the, the, the little haul that I got. Uh, the things that I kept are the following. I kept the little uh, Tremor pack. Uh, first thing I ever seen this, so I had to keep it. Uh, I ended up keeping uh, California Speed. Uh, common game, but I don't have it. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Again, another common game, but I didn't have it, so I kept it. Uh, and I ended up keeping the the the... Oh, fuck, I forgot what it's called. The 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 joystick um, 
I don't know the I forgot the actual name, but you guys saw it there on the clip. I ended up keeping that. Um, what else did I keep? Uh, I ended up keeping the best Super Nintendo games. I ended up keeping Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, um, Five Magical Puzzles, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. There we go. <laughs> uh, Road Runners, Death Valley Rally. And Batman Returns. Again, uh, the, really the only two games that are, you know, uh, really good from that little lot is uh, Super Mario World and Super Mario Kart. I'm really glad I have those in my collection now. Um, you guys saw that I did pick up another Mega Man X, but I actually got rid of it. I got rid of one of the copies uh, when I sold my Super Nintendo uh, yesterday. And I... Um, I sold I sold the Super Nintendo, uh, two controllers, Mega Man X, and Street Fighter 2, All that for 45 bucks. So 40, for 45 bucks, it's actually a really good deal that I gave uh, to the person that bought them from me. Uh, what else? Uh, let me see. Uh, I think in that lot. Oh yeah, the Ocarina of Time, the Pokemon Stadium with the transfer pack. I'm actually selling those with the with the Nintendo 64 console, so I'm gonna uh, because I already have them. So that's that. Uh, at the flea market, uh, for five bucks, I got Super Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario Advance 4, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I really wanted this game for a long time. I didn't want to buy it off eBay, and I finally found it in the wild. So I'm gonna start playing this, and I'm gonna play it with my uh, SpongeBob. Limited edition uh, Game Boy Color. I mean Game Boy SP. So that was pretty sweet. And then finally the last thing that I grabbed um, was... is right behind me. Well, I actually picked up a complete inbox uh, PlayStation original. And uh, it's actually in really good condition. The box in the back, it actually shows... Uh, uh, some screenshots from different games from back in the day. Star Ocean, A Bug's Life, Ape Escape, Spyro the Dragon, uh, Silent Hill, Street Fighter, WWF Attitude. So it's pretty sweet. Um, on the side it has like some different accessories you can buy for the console. And the box, the box itself is in really good shape. It has a little bit of scratches right here. The top is a little bit, uh, you know, dense, but it's whatever. I actually took the console out because um, I didn't want the box to get any more messed up than already is. Uh, it does come, however, it does come with the styrofoam, so that's actually really nice. It comes with both of them. I actually... I have the console right here, so uh, it goes like this. Bam! It goes like that. Uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to take the console out just so I don't mess up the box anymore. Um, and then the other cool thing that I came with it's uh, these the fuck the manuals for the PlayStation. Uh, little EA Sports catalog thing. Uh, where it shows all the video games, all well, sports titles that are coming out. Uh, FIFA, Madden, all that. Uh, little subscription, little mail order thing. Uh, ratings, the ratings for the games. Uh, the subscription to PlayStation Magazine. Uh, so you can get demos. subscribe now and then finally we have the actual uh, instruction manual which is I thought it was gonna be way bigger than this but uh, you can actually see it right there like I said it's not in the best shape but I to be honest I have I've never really came across a PlayStation in the box and whenever I think I saw one in Craigslist one time but it, it was like Price like at 150 bucks, so there was no way I was gonna pay 150 for a PlayStation. Uh, I actually got this whole box 
uh, with one game, which I'm going to show you guys right now. And the game is, where is it? Uh, here we go. It, oh shit, no, this isn't it. There we go. It's, fuck, where is it? Oh, here we go. Wow, I'm going blind. Uh, it's Metal Gear Solid VR Mission. Again, it's a common title, but for 20 bucks, the game is in e excellent shape. It comes with, uh, uh, of course, it comes with the manual, and it's uh, no scratches whatsoever. So, uh, for 20 bucks, and then um, the last thing that I got, basically, is the PlayStation. It came with two controllers and all the cables. Uh, it's actually in really good shape. No scratches whatsoever. Um... I'm probably going to end up selling this and uh, make my money back. It came with two controllers, and one of them is a regular analog controller. And then this one is one of those turbo controllers. Uh, and what's really strange about it is that it's a Sony PlayStation brand. I thought it was going to be a third-party controller. but uh, So it's actually kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Uh, I don't know if it's a, if it's like a, not rare but a, not a common one or maybe I just never came across one and it's a very common one. Anyways, uh, if you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comments below. And that's pretty much it guys, that's that's it for today, that's, that's everything that I got. Uh, uh, the rest, like I said, I already sold and... Uh, I already got my money back and then some. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys um, have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments below. Um, and that's it. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.